a back pressure valve. Let's see what is back pressure valve. Actually, back pressure valve that you can find on higher uh, temperature rooms. If uh, your cool room, which has to maintain a higher value, that means for vegetable or handling or beverage room, this they are where you have to maintain around five degree, four degree, ten degree somewhat. Then you can find the back pressure valve. Why we need a back pressure valve? As I explained earlier. If you want to maintain high uh, saturation temperature, because the saturation temperature is the temperature we are that you have to maintain your uh, room temperature, you have to increase the pressure at of the evaporator. Pressure of the evaporator. So if the evaporator pressure increase, then what happens? Then what happens? Your uh, sorry, your uh, saturation temperature also increases. So placing a back pressure valve. Uh, from the evaporator outlet, then the room temperature can be get increased, right? That it serves another purpose also. Let's say uh, in a vegetable room, you don't want to have uh, like uh, minus four, five degree Celsius degree air to blown over the vegetables here, especially which are stacked or store close to your blower this is your blower and if the vegetables are uh, stored here if you want to get the temperature of four to five degrees somewhere here what you have to do normally you have to uh, it will take some times to get entire room to come to this uh, four to five degree uh, cutting uh, cut out temperature so what happens this time if you are uh, operator outlet temperature saturation temperature of the operator is minus 4 minus 5 by the time that the entire room comes to 4 to 5 degree the food stuff delicate food stuff which are stored closer to the operator will get uh, frozen out or they will get damaged so how to avoid that you can define minimum temperature which is blown over the vegetable so which are comes out from the operator so normally the back pressure valve how it sets it defines the minimum temperature or its limit the saturation temperature of the gas to zero degree or above value, higher value where that you want to maintain your saturation temperature your cool room temperature so the pressure has to set to achieve that zero degree uh, minimum temperature of zero degree uh, which is uh, coming out from the evaporator. So this is how it achieves. If you see, this is compressor, the condenser, expansion valve, meat room that here in this particular example, let's say you have to maintain at minus 15 and vegetable room that you have to maintain at 5. How it achieves, normally this evaporator maintain at 1.6 bar, if the back pressure valve is not in place, this one also will be subjected to the same uh, minus 1.6 bar. But as a back pressure valve is placed after the evaporator, the pressure at the evaporator will be bit higher value. In this particular example, it is 3.5 bar. So this is actually spring loaded valve uh, as it's appear on the right hand side drawing. It just maintain, it just hold a pressure. It just hold a pressure. So the, the gas which comes, uh, enters to the evaporator will not easily pass out. So it has a barrier. So that means it holds some pressure. So the evaporator pressure get increased. As the evaporator pressure get increased, the saturation temperature got increased. Right. So this is the basic. So firstly, it acts as a balancing diver. What do you mean by balancing diver? If you have meat room, fish room and vegetable room, of course, if this all uh, room has to get cooled down, in that case, we do not want this vegetable room uh, get full of the refrigerant and cool it down in 5 minutes while uh, the meat room will take around 45 minutes, the 1 hour to get, to get it to cool down. What we can do, the large mass of gas we can divert into meat room or fish room. How it can be achieved? If you increase the outlet pressure of the evaporator, then there is a barrier. So refrigerant try to flow through the easiest path. 
so more refrigerant will flow through the meat room of each room so that rooms will uh, faster uh, achieving its temperature the uh, set temperature desired temperature as well as your vegetable room also by the time it will come to the same time secondly it serves its uh, limit the pressure drop across the expansion valve expansion valve yeah it's limit the pressure across the uh, expansion valve or define a pressure or minimum saturation temperature at the evaporator normally it is zero degree celsius so this is the main purpose of the back pressure regulating valve it serves two purposes as i explained and i hope that uh, you have understood what is the expansion valve and the uh, back pressure valve its application and how it set and uh, be with me and uh, i will be explaining the refrigerant other parts as well as the air conditioning on my next videos thank you